I see it. <laughs> there is that badass JT. Let's go check it out. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, guys. Hey, man, I know. Hey, Mel, how's it going? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Hi, awesome. Cindy. That looks great. Just to get some red on it, you know? Yeah. So as you can see, we are following the awesome Evo JT Gladiator. They just pulled into town late last night. We met up with them over at the car wash, and now we're gonna do a shakedown run. Can't wait to get ours. So if you can believe it, Mel's being cool enough to let me drive their awesome new Gladiator. Let's hop in. Wow, this thing's high. Oh, man. Oh, man, this thing is so smooth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is super smooth. Okay, I just got done driving this awesome Evo Gladiator and it is amazingly smooth. I definitely need to have one for myself, but in the meantime, we're gonna to talk to Mel Wade here, the guy who made this thing happen. He's gonna give us a walk around and let us know all the things he did to it. So Mel, would you mind please letting us know how awesome of a Jeep this is? Yeah, we, we're pretty happy with it. It runs really smooth. We did a great spring rate on it. Um, did the Kings to match, valved it best we thought it was going to work we did some compression adjusters so we can fine tune out here uh really happy with the way it rides it, it just feels better than stock more up travel and these 40 inch tires just make everything roll you know roll over everything uh you want to go over around the car let's yeah. start let's start the front so up front we have our quarter pounder bumper we have our worn winch uh we did casey uh lights these are flex lights uh got the new worn uh, sidewinder shackle Pretty cool. I don't know if you guys seen this at all. They kind of fixed a lot of the issue with a lot of the other billet stuff to people hang off the front of their cars. Um, this one's neat. It connects to your winch rope, but it has a D-ring mount built into it. So the issue is always you, you connect to something, some kind of a D-ring mount on your car, and so this one has a shackle connected onto it. So you're not doing two shackles, three shackles, four shackles, however many shackles are. So super excited about that. Uh, on the front of the car, we did all the KC lightings. These, these kind of go retro back. Each one is an LED light. Each one can be aimed. You can put spots and floods, and you can kind of stack them all different kinds of ways. They're pretty pricey, but they're bright. We've been running them on a race car for about three years now. They're, they're pretty ridiculous. Uh, so we did those and then two of these on the side. Just way overkill. Wanted to have that whole look. Uh, these are awesome for uh, if you're scared of the dark out here in the desert. It just lights up every day. So it's pretty cool to have. Um, back on the front. We went ahead last minute uh, with the 40 inch tires. 37s have been having a great time with it. Uh, I don't really uh, preach ram assist on the 37s. Haven't, I haven't had, it, had a need for it. But with this one, since we are running our sticky tires on her, which I don't know if you ever had a chance to see it, like pure race tires, it's a different compound. It's really, really, really sticky. I couldn't steer getting out of my painted floor in my race shop. 
I was like, we're gonna have a hard time. So we went ahead. Tom had already sent me some stuff out, uh, some some prelim stuff to try try out on the Gladiator. Some Gladiator stuff is a little bit different than the actual JL stuff on the motor mounts. There's some stuff that's different than the Gladi uh, than the JL. So, anyways, we, we did the ram assist right off of here. I used our tabs. We welded off of the Dan Spicer axle bracket, gusted it all up, and then we did the ram assist on it. Along with something new that we're starting to make is our uh, our Evo uh, track bars. So we got all that stuff tucked up underneath there, pretty nice. Let's go. Let's go to back or side. So if we're over here, we did our our rock sliders, our body mounted rock sliders. Came out pretty bitching. Everything on the front part is the same as the JL. The back part changes up a little bit, so we changed uh, changed up, kept it as a step. Uh, super excited about that. On the front suspension, we did a short arm kit. Super simple, basic stuff. Um, all four control arms and our drop overland brackets. So really simple. Everything on this whole car you can install in your driveway. All the aftermarket components, including the Dan Spicer axles, uh, the KMC wheels and nittos, uh, and, and all of our Evo stuff, even the tent. Uh, we just kind of scratch it out in the orange winch. We kind of scratch it out. It's right around that $35,000 mark. So we hit our mark. And then on top of it is if you are kind of handy with the wrench, everything on here is bolt on. So it's not no, no custom fab on this stuff. When you order it from Evo, you'll be able to bolt it right on. This is one of our, uh, our new racks we did just for the back of the Gladiator. It's about 18 inches long. Uh, you can attach whatever you want to the top of that. It has a kind of a T-bar track system in it. And it's all aluminum. So let's go back to the rear. On the rear, we, uh, we went ahead and uh, we made an Evo rack. So it's a rack system that's going to have all kinds of different attachments to it and, and actually for a lot of different pickup trucks. But this one's for the Gladiator. We went ahead with the mat tracks. Uh, the, these are good for getting out of mud, uh, sand. We actually use these. I required everybody to use these up in Alaska when we were going across the Muskag up there. So there is some benefits, even though I got big tires, don't really need them. There are some areas where you're like, I really need something, some, some traction. Uh, we got the, uh, the, the shovel on the side. A lot of this stuff we could have put it inside. Uh, with the rack system it tucked nicely away, we kind of wanted to have that look. Along with the big Rome Adventure tent uh, on top, it folds out to the driver's side. And then we also did KC lighting. These are spotlights on both sides. Uh, we have our Evo swing out tire carrier. So this will be production. Um, it attaches the bumper. So since the bed and the frame are solid body mounted, uh, so only the cab is, is hydraulic and rubber body mounted and the back is solid body mount. So we can do some cool stuff and attach the frame to the body and everything's moving together. So that's why we're able to get away with this. Uh, it actually opens and shuts really nice. So simple latch. Got our CV on the back over here. We have our Evo bumper. We did some KC flush mount uh, flex lights in here. Uh, for backup and we got D-ring mounts on top of there. Uh, for the tailgate we did the uh, ARB French freeze and we plumbed everything to go uh, so it's powered up out here. We also included a lot of lighting. This is Casey's uh, rear light bar. We've been running this for uh, on the actually a racing product. We run it on the race cars. Um, inside of here we have two um, rotor packs, a water and a fuel rotor pack. And then we also did a fire extinguisher. Again, uh, the off-road stuff, you know, you could have a fire extinguisher around. Along with the axles, we did um, custom brackets on the UD60s, the David Spicer axles. Uh, the rear axle has all the high clearance, super strong. Uh, we also ran Dana Spicer uh, direct replacement uh, drive shafts. Had uh, great luck with it, spaced it down one inch on the uh, carrier bearing, and also runs the Zephyr style joint so there's no vibration, no drive shaft vibration. So that was pretty neat. Um, what else is on here? We have the Sahara T case, which, or uh, Sahara Sport 2.6, I believe it is on the transfer case ratio. I think that's the T case you want to run. Four to one's too low. Most of the stuff out here we can cruise in two wheel drive high. First gear is almost five to one, so you have a great crawl ratio in high range. And then when you put it on low, you can actually crawl. So uh, that's something else to think about uh, when you're when you're purchasing these things. What are you looking to do? Are you looking to rock crawl go slow? That higher T case is, is going to prove to be, like I said, for me, uh, an advantage. You kind of I, I I really like that. So on the rear, we have an Evo rear track bar, 
and then all of our this is a um, a bracket system that you can put it on Dana Spicer you can put it on Dynatrax you can put it on Curry's all the rear brackets right here raise all the factory brackets that are come on the axle up two inches gives you a better <coughs> suspension uh, geometry for long arm for your aftermarket long arm kits or your factory control arms so it's a really big benefit if you are swapping the axles out ask for that benefit and upgrade so we have all of our brackets on here utilizes the factory rear sway bar uh, came out really clean super excited about it okay on the rear shocks we're using king 2.5 with our evo spec valving inside of it and we'll play around a little bit with this we're gonna have a couple of different options uh, especially for the guys that are heavy heavier and softer that's another thing is on the rear springs we went with that progressive spring rate so we can actually have kind of a load capacity if you go back and look over the videos you'll see how high it was when we first put it on the ground uh, start stacking all the steps down we didn't want it to squat all the way down if we would have had a single rate it would have dropped all the way down so we actually used the top softer rate for having the load and then now now we're back to this a little bit stiffer rate which is still an awesome rate we've had a good time got our KMC bead locks our KMC machetes uh, this one we color match we did everything I didn't want it to be super obnoxious on this one so we did this gray metallic gray with a with a gloss black on the center uh, all of our aftermarket accessories we did with that metallic gray uh, kind of tied all together. We wrapped it last minute. We uh, <coughs> David Brumby drew out a really nice color scheme for us and we had it wrapped literally at midnight the night before we left. So came out really bitching. Thank you. Believe it or not I haven't programmed nothing with this right now. So bolting in aftermarket axles with the regular speed sensors and um, 538 gears didn't have any traction control lights or squig lines or ABS going off on, on, on these uh, Dan Spicer axles. So pretty cool. You can just bolt them in and go. So I'm going to want to recalibrate all that stuff. I'm going to play with that. But I was expecting to have to do it like the old JK. Didn't have to. It was pretty cool. Um, I think that's about it. We're going to go continue to beat this up this week. So have a good time <laughs> with it. Awesome. Didn't even use lockers. The back's open. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yeah, Holy that cow! I mean, that was like, awesome. There's like eight switches. Did good. It walked right up, and I just I kept on thinking, you better hit your lockers, you better hit your lockers, and just kept on climbing. Hey, but we're not building rock crawlers. We're building overland vehicles, so we can get you <laughs> here and back out and camp and everything else in between. So that's what we're not. We're not just rock crawlers. We want you still to buy JLs and JKs and Wranglers. This is. Uh, we kind of want to showcase what you can do with it. Uh, pretty cool. Walk right up. At least it didn't scream. <laughs> <laughs>
our scratches? Yeah, we were in there like, oh shit, we're gonna scratch the beadlock. So <laughs> we weren't worried about it climbing. <laughs> we were talking about, oh man. So, I just, it handles great. It's, it, it feels very comfortable for me. We have our, our vehicle called Chase 12. It's a Chevy. We modified all kinds of stuff, solid axles on 40s. It just, it's like a goat. It goes everywhere and, and it feels exactly the same, just with a smaller body, which is awesome, and way less work. You know, you're talking about a bolt on stuff you can build in a week, not a problem. Takes a brand new Jeep out, first day. Put some scratches on it. <laughs> 